you follow that tile like that? Do you speed it up or do you let it hang on the turn? I'll generally try to hang it on that turn. Because up here it's like, <laughs> and it doesn't seem like you get three. Oh, here you go. Here you go. I'll hang it on the turn. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> We're drifting. There you go. Nice fish. There you go, dude. That's oh, yeah. nice fish. That might Woo. be a new PB right there, buddy. <laughs> that didn't take long. Nice figure eight. I hung it up right there, just like we were talking. All right, just right. I don't know if she goes over 43, but she's fat she's as fat. hell. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a beat. Hell yeah, man. Good work. Well, that's how you like to start your mornings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right on the, what was that, like a 109? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 109 bucktail, just right at its feet. Just had one up earlier. Probably a cookie cutter, same size. But this thing is fat. I love it. You ready? Yeah, we are all good to go here, buddy. Awesome. Oh, yeah, there's some weight to that thing. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> nice fish, holy cow, what a beautiful clear water fish. Dude, all right, I'll help you on the bump. If you want to kneel. All right, I got you. Okay, 43, 43 and a quarter. 43 and a quarter. <laughs> Dude, look I how like fat it. that thing is, that's awesome. We can take her over the side. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're a beautiful mama. <laughs> Yeah, I think she's good. <laughs> Woo! That's the way to start. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> Seven hour drive yesterday to a muskie this morning. Let's get another one. I love Holy it. cow, this love is amazing. <laughs> Well, that's a heck of a way to start the morning. Beautiful fish on the figure eight. Um, a few casts before that, which did have a follow um, right before that, both same size fish. Um, and then he was like, well, it was just funny that uh, he was asking, on those hot fish, do you like to uh, slow it down in those corners and hang it up? And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, do that. And boom, sure enough, fish comes flying in super hot and uh, hangs it up for that half that little split second and uh, that fish just engulfed his bucktail. So that was super cool. Feels like in Northern Wisconsin, I like to do that because uh, our fish are so spooky at boat. Um, it's not like a lake of the woods or Canadian follower. They're going around and around and around and you have time to really manipulate that fish. Um, you got one to two turns up here in Northern Wisconsin. It seems like a lot of times, not every time, but uh, yeah, trying to do that trigger and move in that first corner seems to be the ticket for me anyways. A few hours goes by and um, we're gonna just move spots. I'm not sure if any of this got on, on film, but um, I was reeling in the sucker and boom, Mr. Muskie shows up and grabs it basically a foot under the surface. See the paint's kind of coming off of them? Oh, it's got it. <laughs> I need the trolling motor down. <laughs> oh, you gotta do the collar. Yep. Perfect. All right. Yep. Tighten that. Yep. Perfect. Nice work. That was wild. Yeah, hey, just talking about moving spots. All right. Let's go get them. Yep. There you go. Nothing. Unfortunately, did not get the hooks into that uh, into that fish, but um, I'm gonna kind of work backwards. Uh, been a busy week of fishing. Um, just wasn't able to really put uh, cohesive videos together. Kind of a common theme for uh, for this year, where you know maybe one or two things cool happen during the day, but uh, that's it. You know, nothing nothing crazy. Um, had an absolute uh, fun day though with um, Michael Hansen and uh, Chris Willen. It's been forever since all three of us got in a boat together and uh, it was just super fun. <laughs> a lot of laughs um, right away in the morning. First five, 
five minutes, I had an amazing opportunity of catching an awesome fish. Got him. Got her. No, I don't have it. Oh my gosh. That was right in the freaking corner. That was so nice. That was so freaking cool. That was so freaking cool. <laughs> that was wild. That'll wake you up in the morning. How? It was. And I thought I had her freaking hook, line, and sinker, boy. Zooted. That was crazy. That was cool. <sighs> As you saw there, super hot fish on that 6.9 boiler. Um, I don't know how that thing came off. It was, that thing was flying around the figure eight. Unbelievable. Um, all of us really haven't seen fish act like that in quite some time, other than um, when I was out with Jordan uh, earlier this week. Uh, he had a few that were definitely crazy in the figure eight and uh, were kind of snapping like that. So that was super cool to see. Unfortunately, that was it for basically several hours until uh, uh, Willie got uh, bit. Got him. Oh. Tony got smashed on the Canadian I was like, side. Wow, Canadian, huh? <laughs> I had a funny loop. I just didn't want to cast into the weeds, and I was like, "Stupid!" I'm so sorry. What a disappointment. I'm, gonna, I'm going to get pushed in the lake. <laughs> ah! Man, I've never done it to somebody. That was really fun. I feel bad. Uh, I shouldn't have got his hopes up like that. It's been forever since I got somebody on the old. Uh, uh, tapping the uh, the back of the rod butt there and uh, yeah, Willie was was sold there <laughs> um, Super funny. Yeah, I mean especially because he was casting the other side of the boat the Canadian side um, No weeds over there. So if you feel any tick you're setting the hook and uh, got him got him good there I was a little worried. I was gonna get chucked out of the boat. Uh, Willie's a little bit bigger than me. So um, Luckily that didn't happen um, basically no action all day. So uh, it was sunset, and uh, Willie and I were goofing around in the front. Uh, you can kind of see this <laughs> play out. It's uh, it's amazing how muskies uh, know when you're not paying attention and uh, show up because uh, that was kind of happening. There's encroachment on the offense. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I got her. <laughs> you don't need a netter. Oh, no, God, that, that was, was perfect. There's <laughs> <laughs> oh, encroachment on the offense. You saw that one around? <laughs> no, I was like, really in his face. He was oh, pushing oh, me wow. over in the figure eight. <laughs> Willie was a little, a little bit uh, encroaching on the, on the bow of the boat, <laughs> and I think my knees are almost to the front of the boat. Um, getting pushed over a little bit, going into that first turn of the figure eight, and you know, a little 27, 28 inch muskie comes and smokes me at boat side. Um, luckily it shook off, didn't have to do anything, wasn't hooked bad. I uh, love when that happens with the little muskies. Um, get them, get them unhooked and uh, just say, hey, this never happened. Um, uh, we want you to stay as dumb as possible. <laughs> so uh, that was funny. Um, all in all, just a great time uh, on the water with friends. So hope you guys got a kick out of that, a little uh, day on the water. Um, Could have been pretty cool if we stuck that one right away in the morning. But other than that, uh, that's all she wrote for that day. Mike and I had a two-day guide trip um, with a group of guys. Um, very cool. The first day, Mike was able to get a 10-year-old on his first muskie. Yep. Keep reeling it, bud. Reel. Keep reeling it. I'm going to help you. Oh, 
Nice musky. Keep reeling it. Keep, keep pressure. Back towards me. Holy. Come on, guys. Okay, let's go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Wow. That's a line out. Good job, dude. We were wrapped up on the net, but nice. That is so <laughs> funny. We we're just sitting here for that long. <laughs> Ridley. Wow. Ridley. Get your first one, man. <laughs> well, we got lucky there. Yeah, that almost went we south. Were real. That was awesome. I got, I got it all on vid. Beautiful 42 incher. Uh, I hope I can get this footage from them. I, that was awesome. The next day we went to, it was super, super windy. Um, the big Hayward tournament was going on. So we, we opted to uh, go do some action water, uh, get out into the forest and uh, take those guys out there. And I believe Mike and I both had about five bites on suckers each. Um, and uh, landed three, um, landed three each um, as well. So cool action day on the water. Um, nothing real big. I think 38 was the big. That was cool. Um, going in a reverse order a little bit. Uh, then kind of rewind to when Jordan was up here. That first day was absolutely magical. Uh, Could have been an absolutely incredible day. You know, six, seven fish. If you haven't seen that video, uh, just was our last video that was posted. Got that beautiful 46 and a half. Um, but uh, the day after, let's just say it was horrible. Um, it's amazing you can go from the highest highs to the lowest of lows of musky fishing. And that is what happened. Um, next day, nice beautiful clouds, cold front. And uh, it was kind of a grind there too. Uh, Jordan was able to get one. Yeah, really tiny. I didn't see him till the very end there. Little guy. <laughs> yeah. He was not very. Why'd you got to ruin our last bucket? Oh my gosh, we have him somehow. Wait, wait, he's hooked? Yeah, I tried. He yeah, hooked himself? Off too. He wouldn't let go. You want to reel in this musky? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, well, we got to get at least one in the boat. Yeah. He can let go easy on the drag. He's not hooked great. <laughs> Oh, it's hooked better than I thought. There we go. I don't want her to roll around on that. Oh, I know. Here, I'm gonna hold this up. Yeah. All right, we're not skunked. <laughs> not skunked. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. <laughs> I a musky is a musky, we'll take it. Maybe it's a start to something. <laughs> All right. I was trying to, uh, um, Jordan had that fish following in a, on a chopper and it goes to smoke the sucker right away. That was the last sucker of the day. And I just did not want that thing to get wrecked because uh, we had plenty of hours left. Um, a couple of our suckers before that got piked. So unfortunately yeah that musky did not want to hook it but literally it just hooked itself uh what do you do um that's how she goes but hey we didn't get skunked uh, a little bit later though right at dark pretty much um i was able to uh, sneak out uh one on the ninja Oh. 
That was exciting. Just pause it there. Not a bad thing. Okay. Oh, over. Sorry. I need to turn my light on. There you go. There you go. Holy cow. That was exciting. Nice. <laughs> on the ninja. Grinded all day. Sure didn't got that giant on the sucker. Alrighty. Are you going to be nice? Alrighty. There we go. On the ninja. I guess my headlamp's on. We'll see if she cooperates. No. 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 Alright, God. We're right in the half of what we guess. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll get her back. Oh my gosh. What a grind of a day. It's a lot warmer now, though. Yeah, you want to go. Let's get you going. Bye bye, buddy. Ah. Water temps are cool, 62 degrees. It's cooling down up here in the north, but um, yeah, one bucktail fish, that's all we got. <laughs> and and I guess we should say, we do have two fish in the boat. <laughs> Just been a grinder day, not much action, so. All right, let's get another one. Nice healthy fish, so that was cool. Um, wish Jory would have caught it. You travel a long way to uh, get up here, but could have been an absolutely awesome trip for him. Too bad it was only one day that uh, that was really good, so. Um, that was just kind of we, the rewind of um, this week. So, um, got some free time coming up. So, should be able to uh, get some videos rolling out this coming week. Um, some awesome weather coming. But the uh, moral of the story, though, we had some big wind last week. Some big wind. So, it'd be interesting to see did some of these lakes flip over? Um, I mean, the temps aren't exactly there for the lakes to be turning over, but um, but yeah, moral of the story, last week, um, just kind of fighting the big wind. Uh, so different from, you know, basically all, all this year, we had so much flat, calm weather, and uh, it, last week was a windy one. Definitely uh, put the old little red lund to, uh, to the test. So yeah, no real pattern, basically just, uh, Normal musky fishing, getting on that break line, weed edge. Um, few instances though, getting up in that uh, four to five feet of water on some weed flats. Um, seems like um, earlier last week there was definitely some fish up up real tight. So a um, little mix of both, fishing super shallow and uh, fishing that edge. So that's about it for uh, the last week update. We got some cold coming, some big... Uh, low 30 degree nights, so it'll be interesting. Are they gonna be pushing off, off, off coming up soon, but uh, some actual October musky fishing coming up. Please hit that like button, subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video.